back to part 10 of WinCC um, tutorials. Today what we're going to look at is another switch but this is a uh, two position or a three position switch whereas uh, the previous switch that we looked at here was only a two position, two position sorry, <laughs> teeth are slipping. It's either at the left hand side or the right hand side so it's only two positions. So uh, again we've gone back into the graphics, I'm going to use one of the other switches just to make a, make it look a, a little bit different. So drag and drop the three types of graphics, our three positions, this is position 0 or 1, 2 and 3. Select your first graphic, go down to the animations, select visibility. Now what I did previously was I created an internal tag. I've done the same again, I created it as internally, but this time I've created it as an integer and not a bool. So we're now going to be using the integer value. We go back to our screen, select the first graphic, visibility, click enabled and select our integer value which is tag 2. Keep that selected at, at integer, click the visible and the range is 0 to 0. So in other words when this value is in the range of 0 to 0, just 0, then that will be visible. We go to the next one, visible again, enable, select our tag, tag 2, select visible, select integer, and this time it needs to range from 1 to 1. Click the OK, uh, click enter, that came up orange because it couldn't understand from range from 1 to 0. Okay. Select the third, enable it, go our tag, make it visible, leave it as integer, 2 and 2. Okay. Then place the switches as we did before over the top of each other. I'm going to move all three of them just here for now. Okay, now when we simulate it, we can drag that down a little bit, select our tag 2, but this time we want to put an integer value in it. The value is defaulted at 0 at the moment, so you see the graphic as you see it now. If I put a 1 into it, the switch moves to the first position. If I put a 2 in it, it goes to the third position. If I now put a 0 back into it, the switch effectively goes back to its first position. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, uh, 1, and 0 back to that position. So here we're using just the integer value to show a different graphic to create ourselves a three position switch. I won't say that for now. Uh, and that's how to do a rotary type switch. Okay, I hope that uh, video has been uh, interesting and useful. Um, I should just say that if you go out of the range of those ver uh, values, so if you go greater than uh, zero but you're also greater than two which was our uh, our last picture if you go above that all the pictures will disappear so be very careful that when you are um, using the value that you stay within the ranges of value that you've set for your graphic okay take care and I will see you on the next video bye for now